Crankbait selection is critical when the summer trolling bite heats up. Let's join John now for tips to help you choose the right lure every time. Yep, hooked up. Man, I love it. When you get to this point of the year and these trolling bites crank up. It's, it's one of my favorite times of the year because you can get such a variety of fish. You know, you can get your big fish, you can get eater sized fish. They're all out in that deeper water, in a lot of bodies of water anyway. And they've, they've moved out and they're chasing bait around out here. And, You've got the opportunity to go out and put an aggressive bait in front of them, get their attention, and catch fish. And to be able to do it pretty consistently. And you know, this happens as you get into that, that mid to late summer time frame. Good eye to start our day. Look at that, awesome fish. This is what we're chasing today. It's just, ooh, look at that, popped himself off. We're just chasing midsummer walleyes that are getting out into this deeper water. We'll get a whole pile of these today and, and we'll talk about what we're doing. But the most important thing that, that I want to share with you today is how I choose crankbaits. You know, what it is each day that I look at and say, okay, here's what's important in what I'm going to pull today. First thing I look at every day when I'm gonna throw crankbaits over the side is I, I look at the profile of the bait that's in the body of water that I'm fishing. Here's one thing I'll tell you for sure when you're trolling cranks. You need to be able to grab their attention with something and I think that profile a lot of times is exactly what they're tuned in on because they're already tuned in on that profile with their natural feeding. So that's the number one thing I think about is I, I pick the profile that's gonna match the bait fish that are in the system. But once you're in the right profile, there's a fish right there. Once you're in that right profile, this right here can happen. But that right there is exactly what I'm talking about. Just having the right profile bait to grab their attention. So then, you know, what's the next thing we combine with that? The next thing I put with it is action. I actually put action in front of color. Today I'm fishing a Smithwick Rogue, all right? But, the next piece of that pie is this. Which bait, which rogue am I gonna fish? Because they all bring a different action to the table. There's the standard floating rogue and that's gonna be a tighter little wobble. Then there's the suspending rogue and that's what I'm fishing right now. And that's gonna be a little bit wider wobble. Then you've got the Elite Eight, which is again wider, gonna dive just a little bit deeper. Then you've got the Perfect 10 and then lastly, you've got the top 20. And as I go up through that progression, what happens is all of those baits are gonna run a little bit more aggressive all the way up the ladder. So what I'm trying to do is now that I've decided, okay, I've got the, I've got the right profile, now I'm trying to decide how big action do I want down there? How much wobble do I want? And what I've ended up with here this morning once I got to the suspending rogue, and I'll tell you, I started this morning, first off, with the simple floating rogue. Well, here's the deal with the floating rogue this morning. I don't think it was enough action to grab their attention. But what happens is on any given day, you might find out that you need a little bit more action. And I think that's what we found out today so far. And by going to the suspending rogue, tipped my coffee over there, got all kinds of stuff going on, all of a sudden, we're starting to get walleyes pretty consistently now. And the reason is because I've got the right profile and now I've got that right action on top of it. And that's, that's man, when you put that much of it together, I'll tell you what, it, the wheels just start turning. I mean, you can just start catching fish like this and it can be so consistent because you're putting that puzzle together. I'm gonna get whipped around here and I'm gonna go right back through there because there's, there's a good bunch of fish here. I mean, it's just a question of getting them dialed in and that's what we're working on this morning. This is, you know, this is what they call a pattern. and just working through 
all of these progressions to get to the right bait is, is the pattern. And once you get to the right pattern, you can catch fish all day long pretty consistently. There's one right there. Oh yeah, that feels like a pretty good fish. Yeah, that's good fish. Boy, this one just smashed me. One thing about trolling that I've always felt is that as the day goes on, a lot of times bites get better. And that's because the fish just get more and more and more aggressive, especially in the middle of summer when that sun gets up higher, they see better. You know, it's warming up up here. I don't know if they really feel anything like that down there, but what I do know is they tend to get more aggressive a lot of times as the day goes on. Don't get me wrong, I'm a big believer in those prime time morning bites, but I'll also tell you that I have seen an awful lot of trolling bites that just flat out catch fire middle of the day. I say this a lot, but I'll, I'll say it again. I keep the boat moving because I don't want that fish to be able to get his head turned on me. So I keep the boat moving when I'm bringing in a trolling fish, knowing that I'm in control. He's coming toward me and I'm, I'm just taking it easy on him. I'm not jerking that rod. I'm really moving him slow and I'm constantly keeping that rod tip bent. I'm not, when I, it's not really a pump and reel, a pump and reel. It's more of a pull back, get a little bit and, and then reel on him. This is a big fish. There he is, big walleye. Really big fish. Oh, this is awesome. I'll put one more crank there, and then we're gonna see if we can get them. Big fish, big walleye. Look at that, big fish. Oh, that's cool, man. Oh, there he's unhooked right there. In the net, I was just gonna give myself some slack. Now it's not gonna matter. We're just gonna go like this. Let me just see if I can get this fish in here like that. Big fish. Ha, that is cool. What an awesome day of fishing. What an absolute awesome day of fishing and trolling cranks. You throw in a big one like that. How cool is that? That's awesome. That's what you can do with rogues, man. I'll tell you what, they are just flat out fish catchers, but they're big fish catchers. Over the years, I'll tell you, when I've had to catch big fish under the gun, no matter what it's been for, a guide trip, a, a tournament, whatever it is, or TV today, rogues are always, they've always been one of my go-to cranks, whether we are trolling them shallow in the fall or trolling them in a situation like this right here on lead core in deep water in the summer. Just an awesome all around bait. There's one right there. Feels like a good one. You know, we've caught just a, a pile of 20 inch fish today. Funny how sometimes those fish will all be together. This one feels like a little bit better one. I mean, you know there's better ones with them. You know there's littler ones with them too. I mean, they've been just great quality fish all day. And it just goes to show you that you get dialed in on these fish and you're, doing, you're gonna just flat out catch them. I mean, this, is, this has been a really fun day of trolling. And it feels like we're gonna close it out with another good one. Get this net where I want it. Haven't even put the pliers and such away from the last one. Staying down, stayed down the whole way. Yeah, nice walleye. You know what? Pretty similar to what we've been getting all day, but just, just a good, hard fighting fish. Man, that's awesome. This right here got himself unhooked for me too, awesome. He's gonna get a fast reprieve. That right there, that's what you can do when you get a pattern put together like we've done today. Another awesome fish. Get out and do some of this. Just pay attention to all those little details. Look at your profile, look at your your, your, you know, your size of bait. Look at the action of the bait. Look at the color of the bait. Go out, put all this together, and I'll tell you what, you can stack them up pretty good, just like we've done today. That is a great day of fishing right there.